With hopes of bringing its military to a world-class level in the next few years, China is rapidly advancing at an extremely quick pace that some can only dream to achieve. Already, some Chinese military developments have made absurd headlines all over the world, with many appreciating the significance behind the nation's developments, while others still remain in fear and question China's intentions towards their rapidly advancing military. One of the key rivalry of the recent years and most likely for the future remain the China-US rivalry. And while China went through a catch-up phase to the US in the past, it is almost near to being in par with its rival. Aircraft carriers are considered one of the most important and significant warships which serve as a base for a nation's naval and air force might. If utilized correctly, the damage these warships can impose on the rivals is fatal to say the least. China has been keen on advancing their aircraft carrier might and one of their recent developments can be considered a huge threat to the rival navy. In today's episode, we are going to uncover the futuristic amphibious warfare ship, the Type 076 LHD in works by the Chinese Navy. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. China's Air Force and naval advancements have seen massive developments in the past, and one of the key contributors towards their developments might be the rising China-Taiwan tensions. One of the major futuristic development underway is the Type 076 underway. The 076 is described as an LHD, following on from, or perhaps complementing, the 075 class LHD. However, it is believed to be capable of conducting fixed-wing flight operations via electromagnetic catapult and arresting here. Indeed, the greatest difference between the 076 compared to the 075 LHD or other LHDs such as the US Navy's WASP or America classes is that the 076 is described as providing a similar capability as the F-35B gave to US Navy LHDs. But without using a vertical short, takeoff and landing aircraft, UAVs have seen a rise in the past and utilizing them properly under right circumstances can give a significant edge to one side in a conflict. The Russian Ukraine conflict has provided an insight as to how important and deadly UAVs can be. Match them with their own aircraft carrier and you might as well have an edge over your rivals in a conflict before it even begins. A PLA Navy source had some interesting insights about the Type 076. He revealed, the Type 076 might just be a fully functional carrier for aircraft and fixed-wing drones because neither the Type 075 nor Type 071 can carry that many aircraft. Compared with the American class Marine Expeditionary Naval Vessels, the Type 076 has a cost-saving and easy maintenance design that was designed for China's offshore combat. The propulsion of the 076 will include 21 megawatt gas turbines and diesel engines, as well as a medium voltage direct current integrated power system. It is unclear if the overall ship will feature an integrated propulsion system or a hybrid diesel electric or gas electric system. Either way, this system is considered to be somewhat mature and is expected aboard the 056. 54B frigate as well as the eventual 055A class succeeding the 055 destroyer. A floatable well deck is also explicitly described, enabling the deployment of vehicles and amphibious craft from ship to land. A well deck is one of the cardinal features expected for a ship with an amphibious assault mission and its inclusion aboard the 076 points to it still deserving the classic LHD designation. Furthermore, credible insiders have spoken of the 076 still as an amphibious assault assault ship like 075. A landing helicopter dock is a multipurpose amphibious assault ship which is capable of operating helicopters and has a well deck. LHD vessels are built with a full flight deck, similar in appearance to an aircraft carrier to operate utility and attack helicopters. Some can also operate TELT rotor aircraft such as the MV-22 Osprey and V-STOL aircraft such as the AV-8 Harrier and the F-35B Lightning II. The landing helicopter assault USN warship classes both precede and follow the ship's classed LHD. Most LHAs also have well decks of a comparable size to LHDs, with the exception of the first two America-class ships, LHA-6 and LHA-7, which lack the well deck entirely, taking the space for larger aviation facilities. However, LHA-8 will feature a well deck, returning the terms to their more interchangeable state. Such ships have a flat deck to carry attack and transport helicopters and even V-STOL, vertical, short takeoff and landing. 
fixed-wing combat aircraft like Harrier and the fifth-generation F-35B. With the potential to serve as a baby aircraft carrier, its role, however, is fundamentally different from aircraft carriers. But with the line now being blurred, LHDs have become a cheaper and effective alternative for countries looking to expand their naval dominance. For example, the U.S. Navy's America-class amphibious assault ships can carry up to 20 F-35B Lightning II multirole fighter aircraft, capable of providing enough firepower and air cover for any combat mission. It remains a little behind in fully developing, manufacturing, and deploying a fifth-generation V-Stole fixed-wing combat aircraft. Nevertheless, the Type 075 class vessels are bigger than the French Mistral class and Australian Canberra class, second only to U.S. Navy's America and Wasp class. To compare, India's newest full-fledged aircraft carrier INS Vikrant also has a similar displacement to the Type 075, exceeding by only a few thousand ton. China's attempt at Type 076 would probably be the world's first attempt to make a carrier for fixed-wing UCAVs, which comes with its own advantages. It had also revealed the new WZ-8 high-speed reconnaissance drone. It is expected to be one of the most advanced amphibious assault ships in the world, capable of supporting a wide range of military operations, including amphibious assaults, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief. The Type 076 is a significant upgrade from its predecessor, the Type 071 amphibious transport dock. It is expected to have a displacement of around 40,000 tons, which is significantly larger than the Type 071's 25,000 tons. The larger size of the Type 076 will enable it to carry more troops, equipment, and vehicles, as well as more helicopters. One of the key features of the Type 076 is its ability to support a wide range of helicopters, including the Z-8, Z-9, and Z-20. This will enable the vessel to provide air support for troops during amphibious assaults and other military operations. The Type 076 is also expected to be equipped with a modern command and control system, as well as advanced radar and communications equipment. In addition to its military capabilities, the Type 076 is also expected to be capable of supporting humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. It will be equipped with medical facilities, as well as the ability to transport food, water, and other supplies to areas in need. This makes the Type 076 an important asset for China's efforts to project its influence and provide aid to other countries. The development of the Type 076 is part of China's broader efforts to modernize its military and enhance its capabilities in the Asia-Pacific region. The Chinese Navy has been rapidly expanding its fleet in recent years, with a particular focus on developing advanced amphibious assault capabilities. The Type 076 is expected to play a key role in these efforts, along with other new vessels such as the Type 075 amphibious assault ship. If utilized correctly, the Type 076 will be a severe threat to the rival party, especially the U.S. While the U.S. has been keeping its lead by a decent margin, China is catching up at its own rapid pace, and if their pace is maintained, they would achieve the world-class level they are so keen and desperate to acquire. With much about China's Type 076, the futuristic aircraft carrier, which is a severe threat to the U.S. and would define the future of naval warfare covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.